And here with number one, Miles Amin, number two, Aaron Brooks, we get a rematch of the Big Ten Finals this year, which for Brooks was his first collegiate loss in more than two years. The rubber match between these two wrestlers. Brooks won the first one in the dual meet, three to one. Miles Amin had a nice come for behind, behind victory. A sudden victory here. Really kind of shocked everybody, DC, because everybody kind of, I, at least I did here in a way that uh, Aaron Brooks is one of the most difficult guys to take down in the country, and, and Amin was able to do it twice inside about 40 seconds. You know, it's crazy. It speaks to how good these college kids are when Miles Amin, as an Olympic bronze medalist, is essentially the, the underdog versus this kid, Aaron Brooks, as Brooks gets to his offense immediately. Nice job of limping out of that uh, technique there by Amin. And it's no secret, right? Penn State's winning 174, 184 in the finals, 197 in the finals. These guys are training together. They're getting better every day. They're training with coach. There's just a recipe for the big guy to find success in the room in, in Pennsylvania. And Brooks has really been on a mission. He's one of those guys that likes to move forward a lot, a lot like Starachi that we saw before. Forward pressure. It's his game. You step in, take a bad step on him. He's going to go ahead and fly off to the side there to his Keep left. Those above the eyes. That's right okay. leg of Amin. The, the, the hand fight is physical right now, and I love it, Coach. Amin's bashing him in the face. Brooks is popping him on the shoulder. These guys are in the fight, and nothing's better, nothing's more exciting uh, than the hand fight for me. And as we get the heavier weights, the hand fight becomes much more prevalent in how the match plays out. They don't rush on the outside. The big boys like to get in close uh, and mix it up. Don't make success begetting success. Exactly what you're talking about right there, DC. <laughs> love to fight, man. I love that. <laughs> As a wrestler, I want to jam them up. You want to get your hands on these dudes. Low level shot, a counter shot there by Brooks. That was beautiful there by Brooks. He wraps it up for the two, Brooks has now scored 51 points here in Detroit in four matches plus. That was a beautiful re-attack, man. If you guys, this left hand, reach to the back of the knee, pull yourself back into the finish. Beautiful by Aaron Brooks. Could you see how he did that mat return right there? He came all the way across low on the thigh and drove over him hit there. And that's how he got the finishing part of the takedown. Beautiful action by, by the returning national champion. This is how the uh, the last match went here with Brooks getting a takedown relatively early, working hard for it, first five minutes of the match, and then Amin working himself back into the match with a couple of quick escapes. Well, he's going to have to, but right now Brooks is doing a really good job of controlling the inside wrist, getting him flat to his belly, and driving a lot of forward pressure in to Miles Amin. He's got his head down, a lot of pressure. Working hard with that underhook, trapped that wrist underneath as he tried to peel out. And he rides up for over a minute, Coach, goes into the second period with a two-point lead. Yep, so cross, important. Yeah, cross wrist two, ride. This is just a one. huge period there for Aaron Brooks. Three, Let's take a look at this three, takedown. Three, look at this, what he does here with his right three, hand six, on the mat oh. return. Right there, comes across, drives it through. Do you see how yeah, he slacked back on that? Yeah, yeah collects the far Sweet. Long arms. So yep. You can't do that if you don't have long arms. <laughs> Brooks is able to reach all the way across the body to the high thigh and drive him down. Recess, stay set to the whistle. Red cover legal. Kind of a sag and drive type yeah. of action. It's beautiful. So strong to be able to do that. Mean understanding he has to get a quick escape here. Potentially dangerous. They'll bring it back to the middle. Mean, 25 years old. His first trip to the finals looks a little bit different than he did a year ago. I mean, he looks clean because look at this. This looks like he went through the meat grinder. But look at his face. He's only got a shiner. So for Miles and me, the Olympics, he looked really clean. They're, they're real clean at the Olympic Games. But bronze medalist tonight gets to the NCAA finals with a shiner. It's still in the match. He's got to make some changes, though if he wants to win this championship. Bronze medal, 86 kilos. San Marino, the country of about 33,000, home to his grandfather. And Amin from Brighton, Michigan, west of here. In his seventh year in college, going all the way back to a red shirt in 2016. 
Good job of covering the fingers there. He's keeping his feet moving to get the edge to the net. He can't stop right there if you're a mean. When Coach and I were watching the quarterfinals yesterday, we were sitting next to the head trainer from Michigan. He's right across from us here. Yeah. And he was just all on us because I was like, oh, this guy, this Michigan guy, this guy. He's like, well, you're constantly going against <laughs> us. But, I mean, he they said to us, Russell, he was the athletic trainer when Amin's parent, when his dad was in school. And, you know, both of the boys now are at Michigan. So, uh, just a lot of history with that program for the Amin family. You saw a good shot at Mike there. He was a national finalist here, Miles' his father. Back in 1988. Michigan's already had one champion today with Nick Suriano. Penn State has three with Brooks looking to make it four. Doing a great job here with that right hand thigh fly right there, but he's harassed them hard. See the hard chop right there, dropping back down on the ankle, moving up. Hey, Coach, when a match gets tough, right, and you go into overtime after being ahead, how do you change it? You ride. Yeah. And you ride physically. Yeah. And you shorten the match. You ain't getting taken out twice when the whole time you're on top of the guy. He's got two minutes and 18 seconds riding. We've only wrestled for four minutes. Three minutes now. Yeah, that, I mean, he's that, doing a good job. Four right, minutes. Here we go. That last match that they wrestled was so Reset, impressive by Amin because, you know, Come basically on. Brooks is ahead. He doesn't get takedown hardly at all. And he hits that low shot. And then he hits it again in the... Uh, the overtime match, but this is much different here. Yeah, We've seen that here. I, I was about to say, they're being a bit lenient with Aaron Brooks' ability to stand and not return Miles Amin. He finally gets the stall call when, honestly, two actions before Amin Pro got to his feet, he probably green. could have given that call. No doubt. But you know, if they're not going to call it, you just got to go ahead and keep on going until they do call yep. it. Now here with... You know, 38 seconds left, you're probably going to stay with it even if they call you for stalling again. You don't want to give up the escape. You can't give up two. You can't give, you can't give up the escape and the, the stall call. Right. Or as long as you give one, you're good. Or a reversal. He's got to be thinking one, not two at the most, and no stall calls. If he rides out this period, he will have three minutes of riding time. Ready, Green, here we go. And for me, Coach, I understand. All oh, on the mat the whole time, a lot of people want to see him on the feet. I love the Reset. dominance they whenever you can really red. control Cover somebody legal. on the mat. Good quick escape there, a good footwork there to get up to his feet. Boy, he seals his back to the lower back of Amin. And he's gonna keep his foot inside. A stall warning there against Amin. Well, I don't really understand that one. I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference, but. Well, what did Amin do at the edge that got him a stall right. call? Did he reach outside the mat? The, he might have touched the carpet. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, he reached outside okay. to grab the uh, outside the mat intentionally. It actually was a break for uh, Amin because he ended up uh, stopping the match because the right foot of uh, Brooks was still in balance. Three, yep. Two, he got a fresh start, but Brooks ends up riding out the entire period. And he's locked the riding yeah. time point, so his advantage will be three to zero. Take a look at it. See the right foot of Brooks is still in bounds, so oh, the yep, clock should is. be running. There so, it is. Right there. Yep. That's illegal. <laughs> but honestly, earlier, Dayton Fix did that. They were on the edge, and Dayton Fix just put his foot out to the side, and they had to restart him. With me, I'm going to go ahead and try to ride. And gets up the reversal. Oh, my, what a move there from Brooks. Point advantage. You cannot get greedy there. Amin got a bit greedy. And I understand, right? He's behind. He's trying to score, trying to pull him back into the flat for a tilt. But he got greedy, got reversed, and now he finds himself really down 5-0 uh, with three minutes riding time. Yeah, you, if, you know, if you get out here, the risk they reward was there for you here to go ahead and try something on top. He's got to try to do get something big. He can get an escape. I don't think Brooks wants to go on his feet at all. He doesn't want to wrestle him there. He's yeah. wrestling. Action's but again, win. right, this is what I'm talking about. There should be, a, I mean, honestly, there should be a stall there. I don't know why this official would not pull his hand out of his pocket. Now, Aaron Brooks is doing a great job playing the game. But Ready? when Amin gets to his feet, count's supposed to start Red, for you to return him. 
Good crisp stand up again here by Amin. He's really trying to explore, gets his feet moving. Skate. There it is. Brooks lets him go and gets right back forward. Get out of those fingers, guys. Release the grip. These Penn State guys grip. tonight have done a really good job of center. controlling the center of the map, keeping their opponents back to the edges. The riding time point is locked for Brooks. So the deficit for Amin is four under a minute to go, third period. And with all that riding time, he really kind of needs three takedowns and a ride out. All he needs to take him to his back. He needs yep. a miracle. Yep. He's got to rely on that international experience to go and try to find big points in a short period of time. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. That's how you do it. That is a beautiful reattack there by Aaron Brooks. But now he's turning back to the backside. He's got to try to slip that foot. Pretty good at this. Good to get it. Yep. As they drive by, he's got to get hips into. He's got to drive hips into Brooks here. Good Big time on. scramble by both guys, just Good attacking on. and holding on to something. Yeah, that's that ankle. He's going to give up the points at this point. So, what does it mean? Do can he get a turn? Short time, not going to happen. I mean, just lays on top. The inevitable comes to fruition. Penn State stays perfect. Aaron Brooks, a repeat title. This run that Penn State is on is impressive. And I gotta, I'm not, a, I'm not the biggest Penn State fan. But I'm telling you, this run that these guys are on right now is it's crazy. And it's great to watch these young athletes accomplish their goals. And honestly, to see a staff put them in position, give them the tools that allows for them to do these things that are just, I mean, it's unheard of to see this level of success out of one program. What a war that match was. It I mean, was. just as physical as it could be. Brooks doing everything he could to wear down Amin. Got the early takedown. Coach, to get four national champions is insane. But to do it two years back to back, I mean, yeah, who does it's never that? been done. It hasn't been done. And still one more to wrestle. <laughs> Kale Sanderson, humble as he is, said yesterday, he steps away sometimes, the team gets better. It's not necessarily true with how good they are, Quinn. We got some selfie action here with the young fans and a hug from David Carr. The champion from a year ago, David wrestled back so valiantly in this tournament, coming back for third. And you see the friendship and respect shared amongst uh, competitors. You, you got a, uh, quite a rivalry going with Miles Amin. I, and I know after that Big Ten tournament, you went back to work. What was the focus? God, you know, when I say that, I mean it, you know, God, God the Father provides his plan for me. The Holy Spirit guides me, and Jesus saved me, all three. So I'm not, I'm not capping when I say this. This is all God, you know. At the Big Ten tournament, I was straying from my Savior. Um, that's my peace, you know. He gives me strength to come out here and glorify him. That's all God, you know. He works through me, and I'm just blessed. On Wednesday, we saw you rolling around a lot with Coach Sanderson. What impact has, has he had on, on this championship? He's the GOAT, you know. Not just with his wrestling, but the things he tells me for the match, you know. I love him to death, Coach Kell. You know, it's just blessed to have him. You know, he's been here four times undefeated, you know, so to have him in my corner, you know, put trust in him. Yeah. Tonight you showed a Herculean ride. I mean, it was unbelievable. How do you best characterize that? Um, when it's time to open up and do tough things, like I said, I put my faith in God. Go out there and just let it, let it rip, you know. Shout out Chris Mayer, save not your body, he says. Don't save your body, just go. When you're in alignment with God, he gives you the energy to go hard, so. I put my trust in to go hard in the ride and it paid off. I still got energy, so. You look great, Aaron. Congratulations. The Nittany Lions are the masters of their domain. The NCAA championships.